Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode here on the Technical Beast server. Today we're going to continue work on our witchery. So, um, off camera, I've been getting the last couple of things that I needed to craft the Mutan... What was it called? Mutandis? Mutandis? Um, Mutandis, I think? Yeah, there we go. Uh... Uh, another one? Oh, I don't have any another one. Whatever. Let's just use this. Um, but yeah. So I got the last couple of things that I needed. I got some hint of rebirth. Boom, boom. Nope, wrong. Where did it go? There it went. Three pieces of hint of rebirth. Um, and I should have the rest here as well. Some of that, some of that, and three of those. So this should be what we need to um, make our stuff. So if I go and <clears throat> go ahead and make some bone meal, uh, how was it again? Like this, I think, and like that, and like that, and then like that. No. Oh. There we go. We can make two of those, because then we don't have any more eggs. But yeah, so uh, now we have some of this mutandus that we need to mutate uh, saplings. So let's see, do I have any saplings left? I do have a jungle sapling, we can use that, I, I assume. Um, we still have bone meal left. Let's uh, see if we have some dirt. Dirt, 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 we have some dirt there. Um, and that should be it, so um, let's go over here and see what happens. So we put down the sapling, we use the mutandus. Oh no, it turned into a mushroom. Oh well, I better go look for some more saplings. Alright, so um, I died. Sadly, I died with all my stuff on me and I'm on my way back. Um, but on my way, other than all these skeletons being really, really annoying, um, I found one of these guys. I've never seen them before. It's a cold cow. Uh, now, I'm not going to kill this guy. I'm going to le let him stay right there. And I'm going to run back to my place and get my stuff. Um, but that's interesting. I've never seen that before. So um, I came up here and got some more saplings. And uh, I guess now would be a good uh, be a good time to mutate. What's that? Hawthorn. Ooh, cool. That's a witchery one. Okay, let's, uh, let, let's have that one there. And let's mm, make a flower. No, thank you. Let's try again. Mm, no, a rose. Well, okay. So, um, what can we do with this guy? Can we give him... Oh, we can give him bone meal. That's great. Let's see if we can get a sapling. Uh, and let's... I'm waiting for some more saplings over there, so that would be perfect. That would be awesome to be able to get some oh, different colored wood. Now... Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. I lied. This is... Wait, there's rowan leaves here as well. Oh, that's cool. I might get a rowan sapling off of this tree. Oh, that's really cool. Great. Well, in that case, it probably was what we were looking for. Great. Now, let's get a few more saplings and uh, keep this show going. The show must go on. Let's, um... See if we can do that a couple of more times. That would be really cool. Ah, uh, dead bush. Oh, that was wrong. There we go. Ooh, yes. Yes, indeed. Just what we needed. Let's try to bone mill that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Great, great, great. Let's get that wood as well. And hope and pray that there will be a sapling for us. Oh, it seems like there's a sapling up there. Gotcha. Well, that's really cool, actually. Ooh, another sapling. Ooh, lots of saplings. Yes. Yes. Give me all the saplings. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Okay, so, um, let's, uh, just for the sake of it, let's try that again. No luck this time. We have a few more saplings over here. Oh, that's really great. So many saplings. Already have three of the right saplings. And a few of those Hawthorn, those. Um... I don't know what you use them for. Ooh, lily pad on ground. That's interesting. 
If I hadn't destroyed the snow, it might have stayed there forever. Lol, Spanish moss. Pretty cool. Can I harvest it? Nope. Glintweed. Taken. Oh. Well, at least you can keep doing that. But, uh, well, I'm out of, uh, I'm out of mutandus, and I need more X for this to continue. But it seems like I'm getting a pretty decent amount of Rowan saplings here, so it shouldn't be impossible to get a whiff of magic. I'm gonna get all the saplings here, and I'm gonna be right back with you with some more witchery. We are back on our island, and, uh, I placed down some more of those Rowan saplings to get some more, um... Yeah, to get some more saplings, I guess, some more uh, rowan trees. Now, um, I have a, my farm over here has grown pretty well, but I'm kind of scared to unleash these mandrakes over here. And uh, the snowbills only give um, snowballs, so that's not that great. I need the belladonna flowers for later, so it's good to have. Now, uh, we should probably get started immediately. Um, with the cooking of these rowan saplings in the witch's oven and hopefully we will get a whiff of magic very soon um i don't know how much of a chance there is to get a whiff of magic oh in the first go yes that is great now that we have that uh, it would probably good, be a good idea to make another chest because um i need more storage space now i'm gonna definitely um get my storage set up in a more efficient way in the f uh, in a more efficient way in the future but for now this will have to do now uh, the good thing about uh, these chests is that i don't have to sort it myself because uh, one thing is for sure sorting in these old chests are really really annoying but hopefully i'll get something uh, sorted out <laughs> at some point now how do i Oh, that's not how. Uh, there we go. Sh uh, space plus click the item to remove the entire inventory. Now, we need a bucket of lava. And uh, that should be a fact. Let's just check. Yeah, a bucket of lava, a diamond, and a whiff of magic. So, uh, if I put the whiff of magic in there, let's get uh, a bucket made. And uh, let's see. Ooh, another whiff of magic. So, we can make more. That is very, very good. Uh, I should have some iron lying around let's see there we go three of those to make a bucket and uh, let's head down to the mines to see if we can find some lava down here in my strip mine there should be plenty of lava I think yeah there's a lava lake in here that I can grab some lava from so now that we have that can I get that yeah I can't great um, I'm not going to mess with that thing. I don't know what it does, but I don't want to mess with it. So, um, let's have a look. Did I forget anything? No, I didn't. We should probably bring these to the surface, because those would be nice to store some items in. Uh, there we go. And where's my exit again? Over here. And then it's just a matter of time before we could get started with our distillery. I should have all the things that I need to make this um, distillery. So, uh... Let's see, what's that? Yep, there we go. And then we just need the attune stone, the gold ingot, we need some iron, and we need the clay jars. And here we go, a witchery distillery. Um, let's put it next to the other block here, and let's have a look at how this bad boy works. Now that we have our distillery, we can get the slime balls. So, with a piece of lapis lazuli, and a breath of the goddess, and three clay jars, we should get what we need and we get additional whiff of magic which is pretty damn cool so let's see if we can find uh, the breath of the goddess I should have some there we go so breath of the goddess we need some uh, clay jars we have some in here we can grab half and uh, let's put them in there now we need some lapis do I have any in here no what about up here plenty of lapis okay Oh, pretty cool. It even shows down here on the... It doesn't show the correct amount, but it does show. Well, it kind of does show the correct amount. What if I... Wait, only place to... Oh, it does show. Pretty cool. Oh, well. Uh, Lapis goes in and Breath of the Goddess go in in the other direction. There we go. Now, why is it not working? 
and activate. And go. Upon further inspection, it uh, seems like I need an Alta within 16 blocks for this to work. So, um, that's probably going to be something that we should work on now. Uh, however, it seems like I didn't get the saplings over here. Either I didn't get any or they despawned. So, uh, remind me that I need to pick up the saplings before I, um... Before I lose all my Rowan saplings. It should be possible though. I mean, it despawns pretty quickly. Oh well. And uh, what we need is Altar. And it's the Altar blocks here. So, uh, Breath of the Goddess, Rowan Wood, Stone Breaks, and a Water Bottle. Now, this should be possible because I only need six. So I need to make two of these. How much Breath of the Goddess do I have? I have enough to make six bricks that's for sure exhale of the horned one should be over here I need two of those then we need some more clay I believe because uh, oh no sorry we don't need clay we need glass do I have any spare I do now let's use the chisel to make this uh, borderless glass into there's a graphical glitch here but we will manage into normal glass there we go let's make some bottles Three should be sufficient. Oh, hell no. Ha! 95 health. Holy crap. Oh, well. Luckily for me, he had already taken damage. Let's fill these guys up. And uh, have a look at the recipe again. What do I need then? I need some stone bricks. Do I have any spare stone? I believe I do, actually. There we go. Perfect. Now, all we need to do is craft eight, yeah, eight of these. Then we need to place them like so, get the rowing saplings in there. Uh, water bottles, exhale, and goddess, three outer blocks, once more. Uh, there we go, perfect. So something else to note here is that the um, Alta uh, drains power from anything living in the vicinity of the Alta. That means it gets power from everything except sand and stone. Everything else counts. So um, I should probably get some dirt down and uh, maybe even get some grass over here. Where did all my dirt go? Did I put it over here? I think I did. Um, but something that would be pretty wise, I think, would be to place it near the sugar cane and near the, uh, the, um, farm over here, as well as the saplings. Let's get some of these before they despawn. Actually, while we remember it, let's replant these guys. There we go. The altar is pretty simple to make. All you need is a 3 by 2 of these altar blocks so that would be like this there we go and the altar has been made now you can see it only has 262 power and uh, wait no what does this simple signify I don't even know I don't know how to read this but it does seem like uh, it has some I think oh wait maybe it's because this one over here yeah now this one is working so it's draining power uh, every time it goes up, it's draining power from the altar over there, and uh, we should be getting some slime now. However, I kind of want to do some more stuff with this altar. Um, so, maybe I should uh, work on getting some grass over here and actually making this a livable island, because this could be my witchery island, while that down there would be my base. Or I could make an entirely different dome just for my witchery. However, I know... That for these uh, for this altar there is some upgrades. Um, there is the skull which you would get from a mob. I don't think I have anyone lying around. However, there is also a chalice. That's not how you spell chalice. There we go. Um, here we go. We need another tune stone, some gold nuggets, and some gold ingots. So um, we should probably make that one and upgrade our. Ah, um, oh, so nice, and upgrade our altar just just to have it done. So we need three of those to get what we need. Let's just smelt it up. And let's make another attuned stone. Now, 
we did get our bucket back, but we need to go down and get some more lava. So I'm going to go get some lava, and I'm going to be right back with you. So let's make another one of these attuned stones. And in order for us to use and make the chalice, we need some gold nuggets. Place them on the side here. Place... Was it like that? Yeah, it was. And then the attuned stone. Now we need to put the chalice on the altar. Or not. There we go. And you can see that the maximum amount of uh, energy in the altar has increased. And here you can see how quickly it's regenerating. Before, it was only because the... Uh, the distillery was working and now we have two slime balls which will be enough for two sponges that's what they're called let's see yeah great okay so while we're doing a lot of different stuff um, let's get on with our main objective and uh, let me tell you a bit about the breaks that I have realized with this uh, sponge now while the sponge is draining all the water as I would need it does have one drawback now you see it drained all the water in the vicinity of the sponge and that is just what I want however when I break it the water does not float back it is static water the, like this water won't go back and I can update the water on the top but I need to update each and every water source block it won't cascade as it would in the past so it doesn't drain it or anything it deletes them and it doesn't cause a block update this is good and bad because it's it's good because you can make these shapes where you could have a base underwater that would only um like it, it wouldn't have any supporting structure it wouldn't have a glass bubble around it but when i do have this glass bubble if i place it too close to the edge it will drain water outside the dome as well so i have to be really careful about where i place it another issue that is quite evident when trying to drain this dome is that every time you make floating water even if you delete the source blocks, it doesn't update, which means you kind of have to manually block update all the pieces of water for it to disappear. And sometimes it even flows out afterwards. So it's definitely not something that is a bug-free um, solution. But as you can see, it's it's been working pretty well so far. Uh, I can show you an example of what I've got to work with here. So. I build up and I place down the sponge, it drains the water in an area, but <sighs> trying to drain a dome with a, uh, with a voxel is not the easiest thing in the entire world. So uh, yeah, this is definitely a project, let's say, say it that way. So as you can see, I got all of the water drained, but uh, in a minute it will become evident to you that it wasn't as perfect as I had hoped. You can probably see it out there right in the corner that the water has created voxels or rather the void of water wa la la la, the void of water has created uh, voxels outside uh, of this place now uh, I'm trying to light this up but I don't have a lot of torches and this door keeps going in my way so uh, to get up of here up from here I'll need to uh, I need to get up this way now it would be nice to have it uh, flowing really nicely but as you can see here we have an issue we have a casualty of war um i don't quite know how we're gonna update all of this water because even if i delete that oh wait hold on yeah as you can see it doesn't update totally it only d uh, updates the, the the blocks next to it and that's not quite good enough sadly so um getting all of this made into proper water source blocks is gonna have to take a while let's say it that way and uh, from above it's not that clear from inside it's not that clear but it's gonna bug me until I fix it so you know I might as well do it welcome back guys or welcome back to me um, between this clip and the previous one I actually had quite a lot of issues um, my game crashed or rather my recording software crashed then my game crashed and then my recording hard disk crashed so I had to take the power from my hard disk Restart the computer, well, not the power from my hard disk, the power from my computer, restart it up, and then I couldn't open Minecraft. Uh, apparently, after looking at the log, 
the crash lock. It seemed that uh, Map Rider, you can see I don't have a minimap right now, Map Rider was actually causing an issue that crashed my game. However, you can see that most of the way around here, I've actually fixed the issue with the water, and all I did was in the top layer of the, the voxel of air under the water, I placed uh, some leaves, and then I've been using this, um, this false mitt to uh, remove it, like so. It goes very quickly, it's <laughs> very fast and, and very cool. See, this is, the sort of, uh, this is the sort of fix that I was talking about, and this actually makes the process a lot quicker. And now I should be done. I think, oh no, I might drown now. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. No, 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 Oh, I made it with one HP left. Half a heart. Oh my god. Well, as you can see, guys, I fixed all the water, and my base, or my dome, is now complete. Now, this episode is quite a long one, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye now. However, uh, in the next episode, I will have moved all my machines and all my stuff from up there, down here, and we have got ourselves a very nice underwater base. Uh, for now, this is my way in and out. It's it's decent. It's not amazing, but it works. Uh, I was thinking about making an elevator because I believe that Open Blocks has uh, the possibility of making an elevator. So I'm gonna work a bit on that, and I will see you all in the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, though, feel free to leave a like down below I really do appreciate it if you enjoy my content in general please consider subscribing to my channel and if you want more from the <laughs> technical beast server please go in the description below and click some of the other guys on this server and uh, watch some of their some of their videos they are really cool if you're too lazy to scroll down there will be links at the end of this video and you just click a character and it will take uh, you to their channel and um, and that's all for this time guys as always, I hope you have a great one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.